opposed to the reality is this is this is not a Netflix show, okay? So this is not Netflix, it's not something people are watching. This is real. Our officers, our members, like I said, not only in our city, across the country, face these type of situations on a regular basis. They're trained for these situations. And as an officer, in relation to the earlier question, you have to be prepared when you're confronted with physicality, how you're gonna respond and what you're gonna do to respond to that. So their training kicked in, they did an excellent job, and that's really the, the message here going forward. Last evening, members from those units were situated near the area of 10 Shenley Road in search of a male suspect who was wanted for previously recklessly discharging a firearm in our city back in March of this year, March 17, 2022. After a period of time, officers were able to locate this suspect outside of his residence, as I said, located at 10 Shenley Road. At this point, members of the Toronto Police Service Gun and Gang Task Force attempted to move in and arrest the suspect, at which point he fled on foot in an attempt to evade arrest. Upon fleeing, the suspect turned, were alleging produced a handgun and fired multiple rounds at the officers, who were forced to take immediate cover to protect themselves. The suspect was successful in fleeing back into his residence while the officers took cover. Once the suspect was inside, the officers faced further gunfire that came from the inside of the suspect's residence. Although the officers came under extensive gunfire, remarkably, none were injured. I can report, however, that a police vehicle being driven by one of our members was struck by rounds that were fired by the suspect, as was a neighboring residence. Once the suspect was back inside the residence, officers maintained containment of the residence. The emergency task force attended at the scene. The emergency task force was able to establish communications with the suspect who remained inside the residence. After a significant period of negotiation, the suspect surrendered to the ETF without further incident. And I'd like to commend our ETF members on their professionalism in this, in this incident. In relation to the events of last evening, Mr. Thomas James McMahon, 35 years of Toronto, will be charged, is charged with attempted murder times three, along with a series of firearm-related offenses. Also including possession of a firearm while well, he's under two separate court-ordered firearms prohibitions previously. Mr. McMahon will have appeared at the Toronto East Courts this morning, at 10 a.m. this morning, and remains in custody. In relation to the original firearms investigation back in March, Mr. McMahon was also charged with recklessly discharging a firearm and other gun-related offenses. This incident occurred just prior to midnight in a residential neighborhood on Woody Crest Avenue, as I said before, March 17th of 2022. This is in the area of Danforth and Don Lands Avenue. 